Hillview Church. Well, this morning, I have a special friend joining me, Tim of the Lion, seeing that he will be featuring in the story that we're going to have a look at in a minute. Before we do that, I would like to share some fun facts with you. Lions live in groups as large as 40 members. Lions don't need to drink water every day, but they need to eat daily. Female lions do most of the hunting. Lions are superb hunters. Male lions can weigh up to 550 pounds and female lions can weigh up to 390 pounds. Lions can climb trees if they need to and lions are the second largest cats on earth. If you had an encounter with a lion, what emotions do you think you would experience? I believe I would be scared, worried, anxious, stressed, shaking like a leaf. Well, keeping that in mind, let's have a look at what Daniel did. The king's name was Darius and he really liked Daniel. He knew that Daniel was a good worker, so he decided to put Daniel in charge of the whole country. The other servants of the king were very jealous of Daniel and they tried to find something that they could get Daniel in trouble. They were trying to get him fired, but Daniel obeyed God so they couldn't find anything. Finally, these men said to each other, we can't find any reason for the king to fire Daniel. So the only way we could get him to disobey the king is if we made a law against his God. So they went to King Darius and said, O oh, great king, you are so wonderful that no one should pray to anyone but you. The king said, mm, that sounds like a great idea. Then the men continued, all of your workers have agreed that this should be done and that anyone that prays to any other god should be thrown into the lion's den. The workers lied and said that everyone who worked for the king agreed, but of course they never talked to Daniel because they knew he wouldn't agree. The king didn't know this, so he made the law and it couldn't be changed. When Daniel heard about the new law, he did what he always did. He went home to a room upstairs and opened the windows that looked out over the city. Three times a day, he went down on his knee and prayed to God, just like he had always do. These men went as a group to Daniel's house and found him praying and asking God for help. So they ran straight to the king and told him, your worker Daniel is ignoring your command. We have seen him praying to his God three times today. When the king heard this, he was very sad. He really liked Daniel and he didn't want him to die. He tried everything to get the law changed to stop Daniel from being thrown in the lion's den. But the men came to him and reminded him that the law could not be changed and Daniel would have to be punished. So at the end of the day, the king gave the order and they brought Daniel and threw him into the lion's den. The king said to Daniel, I hope your God who you serve and pray to will rescue you. A large heavy stone was rolled in front of the den and the king went back to his palace with tears in his eyes. That night, King Darius couldn't eat or sleep. He was so worried for Daniel. The next day, as soon as the sun came up, the king got up and ran to the lion's den. As he got closer, he shouted, Daniel, has your God who you serve and pray to rescued you from the lions? The king was w waiting quietly for a response. Then all of a sudden, Daniel said, Oh, king, live forever. My God sent an angel and he shut the mouths of the lions. They have not hurt me because I have done nothing wrong. The king jumped with joy and immediately ordered that Daniel be removed from the den. And when Daniel was lifted from the den, there wasn't even a scratch on him because he trusted God. The king knew that the men had tricked him into punishing Daniel, so he punished them. After that, the king made a new law and he said, Daniel's God is great and I order that everyone in my kingdom 
must respect the Lord God who rescued Daniel from the hungry lions. May we follow Daniel's example in this week coming. Have a blessed week.